Sup, sup, flappers. Let me ask you a question. Do you remember the first day that you started playing Genshin Impact? Do you remember who was your first four-star character? What your first team was? How you got into the game? Who introduced you? Did you have friends, communities that you wanted to play this game with? And that is a good question for us to start off today's discussion with because we're talking about Mahoyo, well, I guess now Hoyoverse and their plans for Genshin Impact. It's not going to take a genius let's just say to figure out that hoyoverse wants the game to develop i guess horizontally what i mean by that is instead of developing already popular content within the game they want to develop the game to be accessible by more and more players of different genres and there's an emphasis i feel that hoyoverse has placed on the game to be noob friendly or beginner friendly and just feels that hoyoverse doesn't want the game to be more difficult than the common denominator for genshin impact which is i believe the more casual players and you guys might argue this point by saying well walrus i don't think that's quite true if you see you know channels like i went to lose gaming Ziox, theory crafter channels they're some of the most popular ones amongst youtube right in fact you would argue that the more casual contents on youtube just don't get consumed as much in comparison to these other creators and i would like to rebuttal that essentially by saying the fact that you guys see these channels having great success is in large due to the phenomenon of these more intense players or players who are actively seeking out this information are engaging in online activities reddit discords youtube chats whatnot right and the more casual players in fact don't actually go online to partake in these activities and just in the month of december alone genshin impact had an active player count of around 58 million players and then you come back and look at these youtube channels their viewership their subscriber count it's easy to say that well you see within this scope this dome of our reality of what we interact with we see these people are wildly successful but then you compare that to the bigger numbers the statistics show that the vast 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 majority of all genshin players or at least the recently active players they do not actually partake in consuming the online content and there are many reasons for this but we're not going to get into that because that has nothing to do with what we're talking about in this video i just want to highlight this because i see a lot of people talking about it's like you know walrus i think most players are actually tryhards they want to succeed in the game and i just wanted to let you guys know that's absolutely not true whatsoever the tryhards are a very very small portion of this community in fact i would say it's less than one percent to be completely honest to, to the entirety of Genshin's player base. This statistic is very well understood by Mahoyo and it's evident in the game and its design that Mahoyo wants to stretch the game horizontally because they understand it, even if they scale the game up vertically, it's just going to drive players away. In fact, recently I've noticed a lot of newer players and if you guys have seen some of the really cringy Genshin Impact advertisements, you'll understand Mahoyo's trying to hit every single demographic they can it doesn't matter if you're young old male female non-binary caucasian asian rich poor it doesn't matter Mahoyo's gonna try to target everyone and the way they designed the game is that they have so many different features albeit I have gripes with this is that a lot of them are not developed and matured enough to garner the attention of a lot of these dedicated players but that doesn't matter as long as you have some niche to do in this game Mahoyo will find a way to try to keep you on their game and it's very interesting because Mahoyo doesn't want to keep you on their game 24 7 all day every day in fact they make it an active effort to to drink feed you dosages of their content and make sure you can't really get enough in one day so essentially it forces you to come back the next day to to continue kind of uh, drip feeding off of this and they also understand this is only temporary because once people get fed up and they stomp their foot say you know what i'm not going to be a part of this toxicity anymore right this toxic cycle of you drip feeding me bits and pieces of content i'm leaving but mahoyo is completely fine with that because they'll just find ways to get new 
fewer people on this weaning system that they've got going on here. And you guys might think, Walrus, I think you need to calm down. You need to take a step back and, and re reevaluate what you're really saying here. And you guys might think I'm being negative, but I'm really just highlighting the situation of Mahoyo's game design. It's built horizontally. That's not necessarily a bad thing, but it's built horizontally to suck in as many players as they can so they can encapsulate you within this development plan that they've got going on for Genshin Impact. And in fact, it's proven so successful that if you just look at the Genshin player count, I'm not talking about the YouTube, the people that you are in direct contact with, right? Your friends who are also in Discord communities, who are also watching Theory Crafters and whatnot. Look at the casual player base. Look at the numbers in a macro sense, as opposed to just what's right in front of you and around you. And you'll quickly start to see that the way Genshin is designed and developed leans into, and in fact, I would go as far as say caters to the more casual players. Does it matter that Yaimiko isn't hitting the numbers statistically as people anticipate other carries are hitting? Nobody cares. And I say that not to invalidate people's opinions, but in the grand scheme of the entirety of the Genshin landscape, you can truly say nobody cares. Because when you literally take up less than 1% of the entire population, doesn't matter you make noises on Twitter, you make noises on social media platforms, or you have 800, 900, 1 million subscribers, and you are actively making videos talking about these problems, it doesn't matter because you are literally less than 1% of the player base. And let's just flip the question around then. Why should a company cater to less than 1% of their player base when it comes to decisions and game development, right? Personally, I feel like there's much more value in having a bigger player base as opposed to a smaller player base, but very dedicated players. And this is not to say that vertical content won't come in the future. It's just that right now, it's not the time nor anywhere near the top priority for for Hoyoverse to develop more engaging and difficult content as that likely will not only create a huge gap between veteran players and newer players in terms of what they can and cannot clear, but as well as creating a huge rift between the tryhard and casual players, which already is incredibly toxic. I see newer players in my comment section asking questions and just getting barraged by these veteran players who call them idiots or the constant belittling of casual players who are trying to build interesting teams, but having these meta players come in telling them that's trash, that's inefficient. I don't think Hoyoverse wants to add any more oil to this giant burning dumpster fire of what is the current online scene, at least for EN, of Genshin Impact. It's true. Only the tryhards are really on the internet talking about this and the casual players literally treat this game as a casual endeavor. So next time you guys ask, do you think Hoyoverse is going to develop the end game of Genshin Impact? Ask yourself, if you were in their position, would you do that? Would you push for this? Or would you just sit back and collect the cash of the already hardcore players who you know truly are addicted, they'll pay for anything that breathes C6, R5, and work on the casual players, the players who can easily just say, you know what, I'm done with this, let's go move on. It's much more important for Hoyoverse to keep the attention of the casual players because it's much easier to lose them and to continue bolstering their already huge number of players. Genshin 2.6 is going to continue to usher in newer players. And personally, I feel like we should just be a little more patient with them. If they have questions, answer them. If it's stupid or dumb, just know you were at one point not knowledgeable on this stuff either. Why you gotta sit on your high horse and kick people in the face when you've already made it? If you have the time of day, it takes no longer than a couple minutes, sometimes even seconds to answer some of these people's questions. We don't need to be such dickheads in the community and have such god complexes over the fact that we know more about a mobile game. All right, people, this game is designed for casual players and we should start respecting that as opposed to actively shunning them away from the online community. With that said, thank you guys for watching. Please comment down below on what you think. Regard this, do you think Mahoyo is going to scale the game up vertically anytime soon or they're going to continue with this horizontal growth? And what do you think regarding that? Name's Walrus. Subscribe if you like this type of content. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, urge y'all to stay safe and peace, peace.